Hello, Taurus. It is time for your reading of mid-August to September of this current year. Yes. Okay. So. How are y'all? Okay, phone. Whatever. I got gotcha. you. You said that already. Whatever. Anyway, my chess game ran out of time, but that's okay. So, Taurus, this is for a sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Check your chart, because it might be necessary. August is the pause, I guess. I don't know. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it, because it's just a card game after all. If you want a personal reading after this, like my email, Facebook, and Instagram are all in the description box below. Just hit those up. First readings on the house and everything else comes with the price. And I do take tips and donations. So, Taurus. Well, you're wishing for a good time, so that's a good thing. But the obstacle is a new cycle. Your situation is justice reverse, which is possibly bad karma, but I feel like you're somewhat trying to keep guard against. We got the lovers right here and the fears and rejections, like you might be separated from someone you really care about. Um, and the past is being brought up quite a bit, you know. Uh, everyone's lost patience. Everybody. Everyone's just like, fuck it. Fuck it, that's how we're gonna go now. All of us just riding down the street screaming fuck it in a aluminum bucket. Oh, that made me think of KFC a little bit. I know, how stereotypical of me, but KFC is good shit, man. Have you ever been to Kentucky and had their fried chicken? Oh my god. It is nothing like the fucking restaurant. It's got like Tabasco sauce like in the chicken. Like it's been left to soak in some of that. It's just the right kind of spice and it just oozes with yummy juices. And Oh man, like I need to go to Kentucky. Like they got good food. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably just hungry. Anyway. Let's go back to you, Taurus, because this is all about you, after all. So, yeah, it feels like you're on guard when it comes to this new cycle, because you know it means you probably need to separate from somebody. I feel like you might be dealing with an air sign with this Justice card reverse. I think this showed up... Yeah, this showed up in Aries, too. Bad karma somewhere along the way when it comes to either friends, celebrations, and shit, because it has something to do with the past, right? Now, this Nine of Wands right here, someone's keeping guard because I guess they feel like they're, they're, whatever world they're believing in or what they think is happening isn't, in fact, reality. It's like they're guarding against um, seeing the truth of a situation, right? Cross watchers also switch stuff around if you need to. Right, right. We got an Empress card that could be you, Taurus. It also could be Libra or female Aries. The Empress. She thought she was going to be comfortable, and it turns out, nah, you're on guard. Someone's on guard. Justice reverse, bad karma, things not being fair, injustice incarnate. Someone's been looking within to look at this shit. And have come to assess it correctly. Or at least stand in their truth with the king of swords right here. Like, not backing down. As your sword in the ground, just like, you know, like, I dare you. Because I will still fuck you up, even if my sword is in the ground. Here, I'll even take my hands off of it. Come on. No, bitch, I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> Three of a cups here, right? Good times. Happy times. Friends celebrations, partying, you know, trying to bring that shit back up from the dead. Trying to resurrect it. Trying to make things happy all over again. Even willing to sacrifice a betty or two. Have been giving to this whole scenario, but uh, you've been keeping your guard on what the reality actually is. 
what's coming against you is this world right here. Look at over here at how everything is and still standing in your truth, right? This causes a new cycle to begin where you're just like, I'm not giving shit to you, you dick. And something in the past is probably the reason why. It's got probably somebody really fucking nettled. Maybe a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, right? Lovers reverse. It's in the fears and rejections, the separation of sorts. Someone feels like they're rejecting a, situ a, a relationship being separated because there's nothing, they feel like there's nothing out there. Dude, there's shit everywhere. Like, there's literally trash in parks somewhere. Like, there's shit out there. It's not those, those four pillars with some dirt. I promise you, there's shit out there. Or are you just secure in thinking that there's nothing out there for you? Because you sure aren't bringing it up and you sure aren't fighting it at all. It's like backing down from even trying to look with the Page of Swords right here. Then we have the Catalyst as well as what'll start this shit, right? This cycle. The past, where someone did not feel very victorious in their shit. This is how stuff started, and this is how it'll close out. And feeling like they're fucking broke. Yeah, they're trying to listen to their intuition, at least. That's the important thing. At least they're trying. The ending theme is... It is time to start some arguments and fall out with people. You know? Like... Like, totally not listening the spirit guides worried about that coin the coiny coin that cha ching alright let's see I don't understand but okay Taurus okay, let's see we got something is not working or is not perfected to where it needs to be um, in order to take a leap of faith or start with a clean slate, possibly with some coin, some pentacles of the ace type, right? Like there's a door and there's a hand hand handing you a, a, a gigantic gold coin made of pure gold that you can use to get a shit ton of money with. Decision needs to be made. In order to be victorious and have your damn celebrations. Cool. Just, there might be somebody who's a little immature with their emotions when they deliver them, though, you know. Uh, but it's time to face the crossroads where someone doesn't know what the hell they're doing when it comes to this um, combativeness or trying to figure out what they should be fighting for in order for it to be the right thing to do right here. Hmm, this person has choices. I just don't know what they are. And I feel like the choices are just as convoluted as the situation. If that's the right word. I don't know if that's the right word, so forgive me. I'm just trying to sound smart for a second. That's all. Anyway, that's your reading for the mid-August to the beginning of September, Taurus. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, you can like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course. That's all up to you. I don't want to be one to waste your time, after all. That's valuable shit. You can't get it back. But I love you guys. Love your faces. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.